I'm Guy, and we're guest hosting today with G-Man's uh, YouTube channel, but we're bringing you this Bumoda Tessi H2 Kawasaki, all right? It's a collaboration between Bumoda, which is an Italian boutique company, and Kawasaki, the largest motorcycle manufacturer in the world. The two of them got together, and this is from their first union, the first time a Japanese company, an Italian company, came together, and this is what they produced. So basically, it's an all Bermuda styling as far as the two swing arms, and all of the billet aluminum is cut from one piece of billet, so there are no welds. If you look at the swing arm, the shifters, everything is all cut from one piece of billet. So not having welds increases tensile strength. The other thing about it is the Kawasaki H2 motor that has a supercharger upgrade and a custom blow-up valve system, right? The, um, the, all the body work is true carbon fiber. The subframe is all carbon fiber. You got your titanium exhaust that uh, arrow built directly for this motor and this motorcycle. Um, I mean, in a nutshell, it's just a beautiful piece of artwork that has some fabulous motion. Uh, claimed is 293 horsepower, 447 pounds. Woo! So Sheesh. it Damn. is a beast. And you can check me out on Moto Magic 910, and I'm gonna be putting this bike through its paces. Hell yeah. Okay. If you know anything about me, I'm a road racer. I've been riding bikes for 50 years and drag race and motocross track track. I will show you what this bike can and cannot do. Hey. So stay tuned and we'll be rocking and rolling. Thank Hell you yeah. very much, y'all. Y'all go check them out for sure, man. This yeah. thing is absolutely beautiful. You see the headers down in there? That is just gorgeous. That, that center hub swing arm yeah, this is, is so effect. crazy. I mean, the way that that works yeah, that's nice is that it steers from the center of the hub. This section doesn't move. The wheel rotates around it. Wow. So by doing that, and the swing arm being attached to the motor, when you go into braking, the front end doesn't dive. When you wow. accelerate out of a corner, yeah. the ass end doesn't squat. So you never wow. upset the geometry on the bike through a corner and you can trail break all you want, you can celebrate all you want, and she's gonna do what you ask her to do. That is nuts. Hey, oh, Number nine, how many were made? 250 base uh, model Tessie H2s, if you can call them base models. Yeah. And this is number nine to 250, but of the 250, oh, there were only four. You lost power? No, it's the phone just overheated. Oh, that's oh, what I happened that. mine too. Yeah, damn. Yep. So, this, of the 250, only four of them are SPs. So this is one of four in the world. So, I mean, you don't get too much more exclusive than that. Damn. This that's thing looks crazy. crazy. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Now, this is, yeah, when I was in high school, it was the first time I saw a Bermuda. Yeah. Okay, so you talking, 1974. Wow. All right. And I dreamed about having one yeah. ever since. I dreamed the H2. I mean, I think I willed that bike into existence. Yeah. Because, you know, you had all these $25,000 Italian bikes, all yeah, that stuff. Yeah. And you said, just imagine what the Japs could do yeah. for $25,000. That's true. Yeah. You know? That's, that's, that's fine. Fine. Yeah, man, boy.